All right, let's move on here. We've got five more teams to cover. Let's do it Ooh. with a little bit, little bit of uh, intensity here. Um, San Jose Earthquakes currently sitting. Up, oh, I'm on 2020 sk- standings. That's not how that works. Western Conference, San Jose sitting in six. Is that where you had them? I think that's where you had them. Might have had them in fifth, but right around there. All right, we're gonna need to go and uh, and blow some things up over there, because <laughs> that is uh, I can't have you being correct here. Anyways, um, <laughs> three homegrown signings in Edwin Mendoza, Oscar Verhoven, and Chance Cowell, brother. Yes, that Chance Cowell, brother of Cade Cowell. Um, and then Io Akinola in on loan from Toronto and Matthew Hoppy, everybody's favorite, uh, CONCACAF S Hauser coming in and, and on loan from Middlesbrough. This is an interesting one. I want to hear your thoughts. So obviously I have no choice, but to be big on San Jose this season, I've, I backed them from the start. Your eggs are in the San Jose basket, yes. baby. And you know what? My eggs are still in that basket. This team, on just looking at the standings defensively, they've been very solid. They, they're, I think they have it set already. They, they uh, don't need to really make too many changes in defense. I think they're a combination of their midfield defenders like Guerrezo and uh, their defensive back line with guys like Mensa and and Daniel and Goal. I think they're in a really good spot. I don't think they need to touch anything there. What they needed was goals. And Christian Espinosa cannot do it all by himself. This is not a Hani Mukhtar situation. He needs some help. Jeremy Abobasi is another fantastic player in that attack. And now they've gone and they've added a few additional players to help in the attack. I'm very glad that Iwakanola is in a new situation now. I think that's probably what's best for him. We saw what he could do in 2020 during the COVID season. That was where he kind of blew up and, you know, got the hype for him. And since then just has not been the same player. So maybe this, you know, a a change of scenery could be good. Um, And then Matthew Hoppy as well. I think that's great. Uh, I feel like kind of similar situation to Akinola. I mean, obviously he blew up when he was at Schalke. And I feel like since then just hasn't found the right home. Not saying San Jose is the answer for him, but maybe it is. So I think adding them into the mix with Cade Cowell, Benji Kakanovich, and Obobasi, Espinosa, I think that's going to be super helpful for fixing the issue that seems to be them scoring goals. Gives them guys who can score goals. We know they can score goals. They've done it in the past. I feel like the only area that maybe they could have upgraded better is in like that number 10 spot. I think, I mean, I think they played Jameer Montero kind of there, but I don't know if Montero's an out and out 10. Um, But yeah, I think it was a very solid window for them. They went after the area that I think they needed to go after. I will give it a, I'm thinking B or B plus. I'll go B because it was, it was really like two main players that they added. Yeah, I, I agree with a lot of uh, a lot of what you said there. I think the biggest one um, that I recognize is is the idea that yeah they they had one two players scoring goals right. Your your top goal scorers in San Jose were Christian Espe- Espinosa with eleven, <clears throat> Jabo with seven, and then a left back with three, a right back with two, and Jackson God Ewell at one. <laughs> this is this was a team that. If they wanted to make a push going into this playoff run, they needed to get strikers. And I want to talk about Matthew Hoppy a little bit specifically. I kind of spoke on Io Akinola online on Twitter. It's going to be a great restart for him. It is only a loan, but getting away from the toxicity that is Toronto right now will give him a really good opportunity to reset, focus on the game. Don't focus on all the media with the big Italian stars complaining about this, that, and the other. Just come in, play your game, do your job. Matthew Hoppy is a guy who needed a loan move to MLS for the last three seasons and finally has gotten it. And I think he landed at a great spot because it's a team that's competing. So there aren't going to be games where it just doesn't matter. It's a team that's got great players around him. Espinoza, you know, 
is is one of those. Kate Cowell, you know, maybe uh, Nico Sakaris, Jamiro Montero, uh, and then you mentioned guys like Gruezo as well. But in the attack, he's going to be able to be creative. He's going to be able to learn from it. This is only going to help him going forward. You know, he can sit on the bench at Middlesbrough all day. That doesn't get you into the national team anymore. This is the type of move he needed. I think if he can do it correctly, this jumps him up a, a, a ton, a ton in that picture for me. Not, you know, not over number one striker, Jesus Ferreira, of course, because we all know um, his goals against our, our Minnow Nations puts him at number one. However, it does get him back into that conversation, which he has fallen out of in the last couple of years. So um, excited, excited to see both of those guys in and, and hopefully this gives them a push that will be enough, not just to get them into the playoffs, but to let them go on a run, right? I think if you get right now, it's, it's nine versus eight to play in. And then it's one versus bottom two, seven, three, six, four, five. So right now they're going up against RSL, which would be tough. If things can get moved around just a little bit, they might end up playing in Austin or a Vancouver. And I think they can get in there and, and use that to make a run. So excited. I think it's a good window. Um, like uh, you can obviously guess my, my um, most exciting is, is Matthew Hoppy, but I would give this somewhere around a B. Cause as you mentioned, they were, they were strong in most other areas. Still, you know, they're still basically break even in the uh, in the goals for goals against department. So, yeah, push forward in MLS 4.0 and go get them. Love it. My prediction is going to be right. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it's a good thing. You know, I've got the power of editing so I can go back and. At number 12, I've got <laughs> cut. San, San Jose. Jose. <laughs> cut. <laughs> 